Hi everyone, I'm making this video to promote my Monopoly, Monopoly Simulator. I will not tell you what, what it does in, in a moment. First, uh, first we need to install it. Uh, the following installation steps. Uh, run set file. I have not installed it on my system yet, so I'm going to do that now. And just, it's a standard install, just kind of go through everything. Okay, here's the program. What's what's it do? I got bored one night. I was playing Monopoly. And I was curious about uh, some of the st statistics in the game, like uh, how often pieces, how often spaces I landed on. I was hearing different statistics online, but they weren't they weren't telling me. Uh, I was curious how accurate they were. Sometimes when people calculate probability, they don't take everything into account. For example, uh, various rules. Uh, uh, the uh, do they take into account the the chance cards and the community chess cards? And there's a lot of nitpicky rules that most people don't don't uh, don't use when they actually play the game. For example, mixing. You don't mix the cards when you get to the end. Or like me just uh change course. Uh Okay. Um you don't mix the cards up. You always just take when you read the top card, when you pick a chance card or a community chess card, you take the top card and read it and if you, it's a j get out of jail card, you keep it. Otherwise, you can keep it if you want. Otherwise, you put it underneath and you never mix the cards. I didn't know that, so I, that was interesting. And a lot of the programs that simulate the probability, the probabilities I was looking for, did not take that into account. What they would do is randomly select a card from the deck. And so their, their, their numbers weren't quite right. And it also doesn't take into account what happens if you keep the get out of jail free card. By keeping the get out of jail free card, you increase the probability of everything else being picked up. So it, it it uh, modifies the frequency of how how often each space is landed on, and what I was mostly curious about is how uh, your average uh, income every time you go around the board. There are times I'm playing Monopoly, and I'm wondering who who has the better uh, setup at the moment. Who, if we kept playing, if I kept playing this other player, in the long run, who would win? That's what, yeah, on average. I've been in situations where I wondered that. And I was curious where I can make a program to simulate it and tell me that. So let's uh, let's look at the program. You got the setup here. The main. You got three tabs. You got three tabs on the top. Main, board. This will show you actually the game board. Uh, and edit values. I'll describe each of these in detail now. The main, the main tab. This is how you set up your board. You set up all the situations. We got three different scenarios. How how to deal with uh, the get out of jail free card, which I talked about, uh, that could alter the uh, the numbers. You got you could have it so that they pay the fifty dollars immediately when they land in jail, or if they have a get out of jail free card, just use it. Or uh, it could be cheap and try to try to roll doubles each time, and only pay fifty if you have absolutely no choice, or use a get out of jail free card if you have it. Or uh, never hold on to the get out of jail free card and just absolutely never use it. Just kind of hoard it so none of the players can get it. Or I got this other option. You click it and it applies to all the options. Whenever you get a get out of jail free card, you just kind of ignore it and put it back under the deck. You got this option first turn. This will tell you whose turn it is at any given time. Uh, so if you are in, this allows you to put set up the uh, board precisely where your game is. If you wanted to stop a game for a moment and, and put all the input the scenario into this program, then get an idea. 
Okay, the cycle speed. This tells you how often it does a bunch of moves. How many moves it does will depend on this number of rolls per cycle. So if I want to do one roll of the dice per second, so for example, there is here's a second. Okay, one roll per second. That's what I got it set right now. How many players do you want? Okay. Between two and eight players, that's what I got it set to. I'm going to say, we'll say eight players. And you click OK to that. This tells you how you want the statistics to be displayed, which you can change while the program is running. But uh, we'll show you that in a second. For now, I'm just going to run it. One, one uh, roll of the dice per second. Let's go right to the board now get an idea. I deliberately made it slow so that you could see this in kind of like human. This is about a little faster than how humans play but it allows you to see the graphics and kind of give you an idea that the program's working correctly. I use this kind of like to debug the program as well. found a few bugs here and there when I was uh, playing around with it. Now you can see here that it's showing all the all the moves all the previous moves. Now if it's not showing enough you can put an option where you can change it. Uh, they'll show maybe 20, 20 moves at a time. And right now it's showing the property property names. Now let's stop this for a moment. Actually, I don't need to stop it. I okay. If I want to add houses and stuff, I change the the show option to property status. And let's say I want to add. First, I want to give player one the ownership of all three of these houses. Okay. Now, I will. I'm going to increase it so he gets. Oh, okay, by the way, here's how you view the st statistics. I go to player one. Player one, this is what st st blah, statistics are being shown for player one. I'm going to increase the speed a little bit so we can get some kind of meaningful number out of this. So now it's doing about 10,000. Well, it's pretty much going as fast as it can now. So, for example, we see the it's landing on Mediterranean Avenue per roll adds a, it lands on at about 1.96% of the time if you're not interested in per roll and want to know how often it lands on the Mediterranean Avenue per per turn which is a little different than roll roll could be part of a turn because if you roll doubles it's still your turn so it's calculating the odds based on that okay, here's, a, here's how you change it if you want to look at per turn a little, a little bit different the probability, point two point three percent. I also have it rank. I also have it ranked, uh, so you can see which one occurs the most, which one occurs the least. The most important one to me, I think, is where the probability landing on it for every time you go around the board. That's per go. You saw I was changing these options right here. You can also change them by right clicking on these, and you can change it this way too. Now if you're interested in color groups, now I have it sh showing color group per go. Um, on average it'll land on the purple group uh, about 44% of the time. I also put a slightly different option, color group at least once per go. What that means is uh, what's the probability of landing on it at least once or just in general what's the probability of landing on the color group if you're interested in that probability and if you want a general overview uh, player money and uh, and positions this will tell you how much money each player has how much money they get per roll on average how much money they get on per turn